Before this video starts, I would like to make a small announcement. I now have a Discord server. If you want to join the server, click the link below underneath the video in the description below. And what you get in the Discord server is just like announcements and you know, like you can talk in the general chat and you can talk with me in uh, voice channels if I'm ever on there. Or like I'll make an announcement saying, hey, I want to be in here for a little bit if you want to chat, pop on in. We'll discuss something. You get extra content such as um, working on customs, like updated customs and stuff like that. So if you would like to join my Discord server, click the link below, hit join or accept the invitation, whatever it is, and have fun in the server. So thank you for listening to this plug. Enjoy the video. After searching many Walmarts, a few Targets, and even a Meyer, I finally found wave four well i didn't find it but i have it so yeah took forever for it to get out here to where i am and like uh, we went to ohio just recently like last week or something like that but we like i said we checked like all kinds of stores even a mire we didn't check a um um cracker barrel we didn't check one of those but you know what, that's more of a restaurant area. I know they sell stuff in there as well, but, you know, if we're going to go there, we're going to go to eat, not to, you know, buy diecast. But, finally, about time we uh, actually got them in, there was only one I didn't find, and, of course, that was the uh, the chase piece to liquid color. So, you know, that's normal, I guess, but I would much rather find the waves than to find just the chase piece. So... I'm thinking about taking one back, and that is the Eric Jones Daytona win. Uh, I thought about it, but I'm like, uh, I don't know. I might use it as a custom for another Toyota driver, but I think I don't need it, so I'll probably just return it anyway. Uh, I will keep the Chase Elliott. I will review that as well. You can see right here. I'll, uh, I'll review that one. Uh, like, take that out of the package and everything. Uh, you may be wondering why, because, you know, I am a Chase fan. I mean, not a huge Chase fan, but I am a fan of Chase Elliott. Uh, and I already got this in the Gold Series. And I'm like, well, okay, it's a Camaro. You know, I can use it for customizations if I needed to. And I know I don't like painting over wind die cast, but uh, it's a Camaro and I don't need it. So, but I may use it as a custom because I still have a few. And I actually lost a bag of windshields that I had for replacements because I was going to replace some wind, uh, windshields on some die cast that kind of got like the stuff on the windshield or whatever. So I was going to do that, but that didn't happen because I, I lost the bag. I don't, I don't know where in the world the bag could have went, but it's gone. So I'm like, yeah, okay. So enough gab. I've been talking for too long. Two minutes too long. So we're going to go ahead and review um, this wave. Like I said, I may take back the 20. So I'm not going to review it. I will leave a link to the uh, Chase Elliott and the um jesus eric jones daytona win jeez i couldn't speak for a minute but yeah i'll have a link to those two diecast reviews that i got from the gold series and a link in my discord down below so there you go check the discord out and check those other reviews out if you have not already so first starting out will be brad kozlowski's number two discount tire 2019 ford Mustang. Now I'm glad we getting we are getting the Mustangs in because like you know from a stop motion series. Uh, okay, dogs are barking. Oh well, stop motion series season three. The Mustangs will come into play. Uh, they will not be in season two because I don't think I'll have enough for like just all the drivers. Thing is, I'm not a big fan of having mixed match spawn or not sponsors, but like manufacturers like. Say an SS and a Chevy in a race, don't, I don't do that. Uh, Ford Mustang and Ford Fusion in a race, don't do that. Um, those combined, don't do that. So that's why I waited like a whole year before I start another season. So I get all the paint schemes, and if there's a new mold, I get all the new molds and stuff as well. But anyway, here is um, the Wave. Like I said, we got Brett Moffitt, you know, 20, 9, 10, 2, you know, all the all diecast there. And then the Hertz chase piece, which was... William Byron. Still haven't found a chase piece yet, um, unfortunately. But anyway, let's get into the review. 
So here's the diecast out of the box, and of course we're going to take a look at the magnet. Um, pretty plain, you know, where it resembles the door. Um, you know, not by a lot, but pretty much. The only thing difference is it doesn't have the little <clears throat> door like dent thing on there, and it doesn't have the Brad Kozlowski, or it does have the Brad Kozlowski, and the door does not. It's above the door, not on the door. But yeah, just a plain magnet, you know, nothing special. So, there. It's about it for that. And then, of course, we got the Mustang. What well, we all are all here for, the actual diecast itself. So, Discount Tire uh, sponsored this diecast, obviously. But, it's on a Ford Mustang. And, oh, it was on a Ford Fusion before. And I believe I had that diecast, too. I do, right here. So, Here's, you know, what it was before, the Ford Fusion and Ford Mustang. Of course, there is a big difference with the splitter and the spoiler and stuff like that. So, you know, not not too big of a difference other than the mold. I'm pretty sure the rest is the same, but other than the splitter. Splitter's black on this one. This one's red. But, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the die cast a little bit closer and a little bit better. Discount tire, pins oil, Ford, uh, tires.com right here on the... Uh, hood and then of course we've got no name banners or anything got the two right here on the roof uh worth right there on deck lid got the back of the mustang got ford two and they got the of course you have the um mustang headlights or tail lights which are a little crooked uh, of course that's lionel for you discount tire snap on alliance truck parts uh skf auto trader brad kozlowski um nascar race car there Got a, I believe a blue Goodyear uh, logo there. And then of course we got the side. And then of course we got the front as well. So, uh, stickers are a little, or the headlights a little weird looking, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, I'm still getting used to the Mustang molds. I, I understand, you know, they're still trying to figure out or try to better themselves on the Ford Mustang molds. And even if they did, they would still mess up a lot because that's just how I know it is. But, Anyway, this is a pretty nice paint scheme. So, yeah, we're going to move on to Chase Elliott's uh, second win, which is at Dover. But, yeah, this paint scheme, pretty nice. So, like I said, here is Chase Elliott's uh, Dover win. Now, some people may be a little upset with me for opening the package just because, you know, it's uh, Chase Elliott. And, you know, Chase Elliott had a really good 2018 season. But, I'm doing this for collecting purposes. Um, I normally collect uh, Gold Series. There are very few that I collect in the Authentics line. But, it's because I like the black interior and the name rail a little better. So, you know, I'll spend a couple extra bucks in order to get that. So, yeah. Like I said, here is Diecast. We've already reviewed it in the Gold Series, but we have a card. So, let's take a look at that. So, like I said, here's the Diecast. Uh, Chase Elliott's. Uh, Gander Outdoors 400 winner at Dover on October 7th, 2018. Now, here are some stats because we didn't get that on the Gold Series. Date was October 7th, 2018. Time of race was 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 25, or 2 seconds. I, that S looked like a 5 to me. I'm sorry. 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 2 seconds. He started ninth, which is kind of cool because, you know, number 9. Total laps was 404, 404 miles. Uh, number of cautions was 5 for 31 laps. Uh, Chase Elliott led 11, um, 11 laps, Jesus, and a margin of victory was 0 0.27 if you round it, but 0 0.265 seconds. So, now I know there's like, what, what's that, two thousandths of a second, I think, that's how you say that, I don't know, I gotta learn how to read that, like how it's supposed to be read, but, anyway, this is his second uh, NASCAR Cup Series win, and then in the new, the, uh, new, um, wave that Lionel's going to put out here soon that's going to be his third win so that is in there here's the card you know that's that's that and of course with the die cast I'm going to just brush over it because um I've already reviewed it so you know but still taking a look at it you know it's covered in confetti you know it's got the confetti on the front from the can uh, confetti cannon from um just a little cannon at Dover, because that's what Dover's known for. Napa Auto Parts, Energy One, uh, Mountain Dew, 
that bottle of parts. It's still up there. So I believe that's how it was produced. It was produced all the way up here. Or that's how it was on there. So, you know. Oh, well. Uh, splitter's a little weird looking. Or sp spoiler, not splitter. I'm sorry. Spoiler. And then Napa Know How, Camaro Z019, of course. And got some more confetti and stuff like that. Nap on the hood. Like I said, just brushing over it. Because we've already done it before. So once again, I will have a link in the description if you want to go watch that review. Because it also has uh, a side-by-side -side comparison of my custom that I made on it as well. Eric Amarola's number 10 Smithfield Ford Mustang. Um, looks awesome. Looks really good. Now, of course, I'm going to do a uh, comparison with the last year's. But I mean, it still looks the same and all. But still, with it being on uh, the Mustang, it looks so much better. And there's a little bit more difference, but we'll get into that later on. And I see a pretty big uh, mistake by Lionel. So let's, or uh, confused, I'm really confused on it, but to know what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and get into it. So you kind of know what I'm talking about and I'm just not looking like I'm crazy. So, all right. So, of course, we're going to take a look at the hood first. Uh, Smithfield, Eric Amarola, and then got the 10 right here. Not much, but I do like the black and white zebra look. That is pretty cool. I do enjoy that. Now, what I'm talking about is this right on the hood or no, the uh, roof. I'm so confused. I think that line was supposed to go across like the other one because that's just on top. See, like on the sides, it's not painted. It's just black on top, but they like missed it or something. And it kind of like went on the side. So it's not a paint chip. It's just a decal error. And it's just so terrible. Oh, so terrible. Lionel, why you gotta do this to me, man? Why? It's such a good paint scheme. Such a good paint scheme. Then you gotta go and ruin it like that. Like you normally do. So, that is really disappointing, Lionel. Good job. Proud of you. But, anyway, here is the, la or the 2018 one compared to 2019. Now, of course, uh, there's a little bit of a difference. You can see... Uh, it's a little different, not by much, but it is a little bit. Not not like the mold either, but I'm going to talk about the paint scheme. But white splitter compared to black splitter, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, not, not really too big of a deal with the paint scheme wise, but it did change and it does look a little bit better in my opinion. So with the actual paint scheme, let's go ahead and review that as well. I've got Smithfield right here on the hood. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like down low like that or that's supposed to be like right in the center and we got something like right here too I don't, I don't really know what that is but that's there there's the front of it looks not bad not bad at all and they got the hood or the roof uh smithfield and then number 10 right there smithfield right on the deck lid as well they got that nice looking uh tail lights for the mustang they got the 10 and the ford right there as well uh smithfield Haas, Mobile One, uh, 10, Oxalta, 3M, NASCAR race car, Eric Amarola, you know, stuff there. Uh, Haas again on there on the pillar. Not going to read all that off, but, because I can't see that well. Anyway, we got some more uh, contingencies there on the little bumper here. And they got Goodyear, of course, it's a yellow Goodyear, because it's on black or whatever, but, yeah. Paint scheme-wise, really good. Die cast-wise, I really wish that mess up wasn't on the roof because that would have been such a nice paint scheme. I mean, it honestly really would have, but, you know, it's Lionel quality and we just got to deal with it. Uh, that was the only one there, so, I mean, oh well, I'll try to look past it. I don't know if I can, but I'll see what I can do. Hopefully Lionel kind of gets better, but I doubt they will. Ryan Blaney's number 12 PPG Mustang. Such a nice paint scheme. Such a nice one. I loved it last year. I love it this year. And I will definitely take a Mustang over a Ford Fusion any day. But this one is really, really, really nice. I do like how it is. Of course, I'm going to do a comparison. We got a really nice looking, um, like a rainbow-ish 12 here. So that is pretty cool. We got the blue package, which actually matched this one. I don't know if it matched the other one because I didn't pay attention. I just happened to see it this time. But let's take a look at it. Once again, taking a look at the magnet, it is just a really nice piece. It's really pretty. 
uh, Ryan Blaney. It's kind of like a paint like drip on it. I do like that. That is really, really nice. Now, of course, the comparison. Got it from last year. Pretty much the same paint scheme. I don't really see much of a difference. Uh, car, car aisle isn't on the thing right here, so that's one difference. There, there's nowhere near as much contingencies on this one as there's the other one, which is kind of weird. Still got Menards and stuff and PPG, but still, really, really nice paint scheme. So let's take a look at it a little closer. There it is, PPG right there on the hood, pins oil, and then Ford right there. 12, uh, not really much. I, I don't like how that looks. That outline of the roof flaps, not really, not really good. PPG, we protect and beautify the world. Oh, Jesus. Don't beautify the die cast if you can't hold on to it, Wrangler. Jesus. Um, PPG, right there on the back with the Mustang head or taillights. They got 12 and Ford. And of course, we got that beautiful side. Really nice looking. PPG, Dex Imaging. Uh, like, no contingencies whatsoever. Menards. Ryan Blaney. You know, stuff like that. Sunoco. And, you know, Mustang right here on the front. Really nice looking paint scheme. There's not a lot of contingencies on it, which is a little, a little weird. I don't know why that is. But if someone knows down in the comment below, or comments below, uh, please let me know. And so I can kind of learn, learn a little bit more. Because all of them else, what? The other ones had, or the Eric Amarola had it in, um... Brad Kozlowski didn't really have it either, so... I don't know, is that just, like, the team or something? But, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Have no clue. But, again, if anybody knows in the comments below, let me know just so I can have a little more info uh, on the paint scheme itself and kind of see what's going on. Now, this is easily my favorite paint scheme out of this wave. Easily. No doubt, in my mind, Clint Boyer is number 14, peak... Ford Mustang. Oh, it is great. It looks so good. It looks really, really nice. Now, it looks a lot better in black interior, but I want to kind of fix that, but I kind of don't at the same time. But anyway, let's look at this die cast, because like I said, I really, really like how this thing looks. Oh, yeah. Definitely my favorite. No doubt. Even the freaking magnet is awesome. Peak, cool and antifreeze. Um, 14 Clint Boyer right there. Just a really nice design overall. But the die cast is what's killing it. That looks really nice. It really does. And I love the blue outline on the top. Oh, that looks so good. So good. Really, really nice. And it's like a different shades of blue, too. You see that? There's like a dark blue, a light blue, and a dark blue there. Oh, that's, like, that's really nice. Peak, call it nanofreeze, Ford, right there. Uh, 14, peak. Twice right there. I still love that outline. That's really good. Peak antifreeze. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I think that's supposed to be slanted. Yeah, that is. Okay. Peak antifreeze right there. Alright, I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought. I uh, thought I heard something outside. But peak right there. The taillights, 14 and Ford. You got peak, coin and antifreeze, wicks, Roush, uh, truck centers. Or Rush, not Roush. Jesus. Rush Truck Centers, Haas, Mobile One, uh, like I said, Wix, and, you know, other stuff there. 3M, you know, and just normal contingencies. You got some on the pillar, got Clint Boyer there on the name post, and Goodyear. And then we got the front. I don't remember if I said the front, but the front's got a little bit of bubbles in the grill, but, eh, that's okay. Eh, that's all right. We can look past that. But still, paint scheme, really, really nice. I do like it. Definitely one of my favorites. It may be my favorite of the whole entire year. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to say that just yet, but if not, it will definitely be up there. This thing looks really, really good. Brent Moffitt's Freight Auctions Ford. What was it? Or no, Toyota Tundra, not Ford. Um, I'm not a truck person. I'm just, I'll say that. So I don't know why I get these. I, I, I honestly don't, because I don't watch trucks or anything. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm getting them, but I'm getting them. So, <laughs> be happy that you're getting, a, you're getting a review on it. But, oh, this is a uh, race win. Uh, like I said, didn't see it, didn't really care to watch. Not really a truck person, again, but still, I mean, it'll go on my windshelf, I guess. 
I said, I don't know why. I guess because it's new. It's trucks. I have no clue. But anyway, let's take a closer look. Taking a look at the cards we normally do. Here's Brett Moffitt's Chicago Land Speedway. Overtons 225 winner. On uh, June, was it was that Juliet? Maybe, I don't know. Like the way the world kind of works with how they name stuff or like in English is terrible. So I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm assuming that's Juliet. But June 29th, 2018. So here is some more information. Date June 29 or June 29th, 2018. Tower race was on one hour, 53 minutes and seven seconds. He started sixth and total laps were 150 number of cautions was six for 29 laps he led 17 laps in the margin of victory was 5.092 5.092 uh, this is his fourth nascar camping world truck series win i didn't know he had that many but i guess he does so there's brett moffitt and then he got the die cast covered in confetti i do like that honestly i like the die casts that are covered in confetti so this is pretty nice. I mean, if I wish they put it on the windshields and stuff, but, you know, they don't do that, so, oh well. And then, I, I, they don't have a window on this side either. This is just, like, you can, like, there's nothing there. There's no window there. So, don't know why. Uh, I think all Toyotas, or not Toyotas, but all diecasts are like that, so. I don't know. Have no clue. Uh, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But, I mean, this is a pretty nice diecast. You know, pretty plain and simple 16, which is my um, uh, cup series number in my uh, series. So nice to see a legitimate driver win in the 16. So anyway, got freight auctions on the hood or freightauctions.com on the hood with a lot of confetti there. We got some on the uh, spoiler and stuff as well. Or splitter. Splitter is actually detailed and that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Toyota Tundra. Tundra? What? Toyota Tundra. Jesus. Uh, 16 there with confetti. Uh, Toyota. What was that? North, Northland? I, th I think. I can't really tell what that says because all the confetti. But there's that. Got a plane back to it. Not really much. 16 Tundra. Got some confetti there as well. FreightAuctions.com. 16. Looks like. I don't know if that's part of the die cast or what. But I don't, I don't know if it is or not. I don't think so. Uh, wouldn't surprise me honestly. And they got the other side, got K&N, they got the Camping World logo. Uh, wait, is that Camping? Yeah, Camping World. Before it turned into the um, Gander Outdoors. So, there it is. And apparently, the truck molds are all the same. So, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford are all the same. Don't ask me why, but they are. I guess they're not molded out, but... Okay, I see what you're doing, Lionel, going the cheap way. I see that. Uh, hopefully, you freaking fix that. Unless it looks all the same, but I don't know. I don't watch trucks, so I really don't really know for sure. William Byron's 2019, uh, number 24 Hertz, uh, almost said Ford Mustang. Don't know why, but Chevy Camaro. Um, he had one like this last year. He had two like it last year, but one had a lot more black on it. And I liked the one with a lot more black on it than I did the other one but this is what was the uh, color chrome but I, of course i didn't find that i just found the normal one as you can see here it says look for the hertz chase piece right there and that would be this but it'd be color chrome and it'd look really like goldish like which i want this one just because it looks gold and it's got we have we've had two we've had two of these that were liquid color for whatever reason or color chrome so yeah, don't know, but I do prefer the last year's with the black, or the more black on it. It just looks a little better to me, but that's my opinion. Again, taking a look at the magnet, or the hood. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's got like a black outline to it, and it's not all the way around, so that is a little weird looking, I will say. But 24, William Byron. A guy that gives me a Jeff Gordon feel. Oh my goodness, that does. That really does. Hertz and William Byron right there as well. So... Here's a die cast. I do like the yellow on it. I like, a, I like a yellow and black concept. I would say black and yellow, but the uh, yellow is the main color here, so I'll say yellow and black. So, you know, got that. Let's see, we got Hertz here. That's kind of a weird font. I don't know if it was like that. But no, actually, now that I'm seeing the font, it's not just Hertz. It looks a little weird. But anyway, 24 Hertz right there as well. Hertz right there on the deck lid. Hertz right there on the back with a yellow Camaro. Um, 
logo there. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but it is. So, Valvoline's L1, 24, and then we got the headlights. That one's a little up a little bit, looks like. Hertz, Liberty University, Alex Alta, Valvoline, William Byron. 3M, a NASCAR race car, 24, a good year, and stuff like that. We got these little, little things on the front. I don't know what those are, but I've seen those on a lot of Camaros, so... They're supposed to be there. I mean, they've been there before on other paint schemes this year, so I don't know. I think that's something new with 2019, but I don't know. I mean, it adds a little bit more color to it, and I kind of like that because it matches the yellow pretty well, so I'm not going to complain, honestly, but I do wish that um, it was the more black one, or it had more black to it, but you know, it is what it is. I'll use it in my series. And if not, it'll become a customs. <laughs> so this will definitely be used either way. So don't know what one's going to be used yet. I got to count my paint schemes and see what is what and what I'm going to use and whatever. So yeah, we'll see. And last but not least, a die cast that wasn't even announced. Lionel was like, you know what? We're going to leave this one out, but put it in the wave anyway. It's in the render. See, right there. It's right there by the 14. So it's in the render, but I guess Lionel just forgot to show it in the showing. So it was kind of a surprise. We found, uh, it was going around Instagram and stuff. It's like, oh, there's another die cast of this one. But yeah, I guess there was. I guess Lionel just didn't show it or forgot to. Or maybe they did that on purpose. Who knows? But DC Solar, <laughs> we all know what happened to DC Solar. Poor, uh. Poor DC Solar, man. Rest in pieces. But, you know, still a really nice paint scheme. So, let's get this uh, out of the package and see how it looks. Because, like I said, it does look really nice from out here. But, we could find something that Lionel kind of messed up on. So, I'm kind of expecting that here sooner or later. Because we've only had one really decent mess up. So, we'll see with this one. Alright. Once again, taking a look at the Magnet DC Solar. Uh, Kyle Larson and 42 right there as well and you know not really anything special but this paint scheme is a matte finish you can see that it's not really glossy like the other ones this one has a flat uh, matte finish and that and it feels and looks really good so yeah that, that's that's pretty nice DC solar there right there on the hood 42 DC solar once again DC solar on the deck lid which looks a little off maybe maybe not I think it's supposed to be over this way a little bit Oh, God. Jesus. DC Solar. Looks like we got a double print of a logo or the Chevy Bowtie. I could be wrong on that. But that's just all crazy. That is all weird. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is actually horrifying. That's so bad, Lionel. What do you mean? That's so terrible. That's all like off and crooked and overlapping each other. Ooh, that's, that's, that's rough. That's actually rough. Credit One Bank, DC Solar, 42, uh, Cessna, McDonald's stuff there as well. Kyle Larson, NASCAR race car, uh, some more uh, contingencies, some more there as well. They got the front, and, you know, all that good stuff. But, Jesus, Lionel, what is wrong with you? What are you on? What are you taking? Oh, I want what you're having. No, I'm kidding. Um. Uh, Jesus, that's just terrible, but, oh well, I'll post those on Instagram, what? I'll post those on Instagram, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. I will post those, la la la, la la, la, I will post these on Instagram. There you go, Wrangler, you can speak. Thank goodness gracious, you know how to talk for once. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, but, yeah. And that's just, oh, that's so bad. So terrible. Uh, I mean, decent paint scheme, but, oh, it's so bad. Why? I don't know. Maybe they hit the diecast for a reason. Maybe it was all printed like that and be like, yeah, we shouldn't show that. But we're going to put it out anyway. But, yeah. That was pretty, pretty horrible. So, with that terrible diecast ending, that is going to be all for this diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to try to find uh, all of these waves like I normally do. But, I mean, if I don't, I don't. 
uh, like I said, I have a review on the number 20 and the number 9. So, link in the, there's a link in the description. So, you can go and watch that as well. And if you have Discord, uh, you know, you can join the link that I invited you with. Uh, you can join my server. Not really much happens, honestly. But, just updates and, you know, stuff like that. If you get new diecasts, you can put it in there and we'll, like, react to it and stuff. Just kind of have a good old time. Sometimes I'll be in there in the voice channel. Just kind of hanging out with y'all. And just kind of see, you know, what everyone's up to. But, yeah. With that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, let me know in the comments below. That way I know to make uh, more videos just like this one. But, anyway, I will see you all in the next video. It's overrated. These expectations they gave way and they down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down. Four minutes.